From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. On May 20th, a tornado brought death and destruction to the American community of Moore, Oklahoma. The tornado had wind speeds of up to 400 kilometers an hour. 24 people were killed when the storm cut through the city. People had only 15 minutes to react to warnings. Some fled more or took refuge in the most secure area of their homes. The lucky ones took cover in underground shelters or steel and concrete structures called safe rooms. Leslie Chapman Henderson is head of a nonprofit group called the Federal Alliance for Safe Homes. She is a big supporter of tornado safe rooms. She says they can help reduce the number of tornado deaths. A safe room is part of a house that has been built to resist high winds and flying wreckage. Sky Strohall survived the tornado in Moore. He watched as it moved in his direction. He and a friend ran to a neighbor's underground shelter only minutes before the storm struck. Better methods for predicting storms give people like Sky Strohall and his friend more time, but they need someplace safe to go. Structures can be built to resist strong winds, but not like those in the Moore tornado. It was rated F5, a tornado with the fastest wind speeds known. Moore lies in an area of the United States called Tornado Alley, where powerful storm systems are common. The tornado in May was the fourth to strike the city in 14 years. Moore's mayor is pushing for laws requiring safe rooms in all new buildings. Similar proposals had been made after each recent tornado strike, but no laws were passed. For VOA Learning English, I'm Alex Villarreal.